What makes a boat out? Well, perhaps it's because we associate canals, rivers and boats with freedom. Walks on sunny days as children, our first fishing trip to an unpromising urban canal, early family holidays, all those enjoyable things that they attract us to water. Simon Jenkins, a long-term boater who owns this boatyard here at Norbury Wharf on the Shropshire Union Canal, reckons it all starts with a canal-side cup of tea. He says that if you give people what they want, they will visit the canals, enjoy them and steadily fall in love with them. And he's sure that giving people somewhere to enjoy their leisure, uh, with nice scenery, plenty of action to look at, and somewhere to buy a drink, some food, can start a love affair with the waterways. It's certainly true that people of all ages visit the tea room here at Norbury, and they sit and they watch the boats on the wharf. Simon says uh, they become fascinated, and many move on to take a cruise on board the trip boat, hire one of the little day boats, so they get their first taste of actually travelling along the canal system. That gives them confidence that they can manage a boat on the uh, canals, and it's surprising how many day boat trippers move on to take one of our fleet of hire boats out for a, a short break or a, a longer holiday. By that time, they're hooked, of course, like so many of the rest of us on the waterways. And they may even go on to buy a boat themselves. Well, that's a nice theory, and uh, clearly canals attract the curious. You only have to be moored in a popular spot and be sitting outside to attract all sorts of questions from the passing public. They ranged from the uh, little boy who wanted to know uh, whether we had to kneel down inside the boat. He hadn't been able to work out that uh, there was another half a metre or so more below the water line. And moves on to those who clearly dread a daydream about moving lock, stock and barrel onto a boat. I reckon that curiosity is the key. Most boaters seem to be curious people. Curious about what's around the next bend, about the history of boats, the canals, about their fellow boaters and their boats, even about the wildlife that surrounds them on the waterways. It means they're keen to try new things, meet new people, travel to new places and try new experiences. Even if that new experience is pushing your boat up a muddy ditch that forms one of the less well-used parts of the Birmingham Canal navigations. I suspect curiosity also makes potential boaters impulsive. After all, buying a boat's a big step and a large investment in something that can cost a lot of hard cash just to keep it available for use. Cautious people who study every worst case scenario before making a commitment are more likely to stay walking the towpath and look at the more adventurous boaters with a little bit of envy. It's curiosity, you see. It leads you by the nose in the boating world. So, if you're wondering why you have this urge to splash out hard-earned cash on hiring a boat for a holiday or even buying one, it's probably down to a combination of things. The love of water, earlier good experiences, even a good cup of tea in a canal side cafe, but above all, it's because you're a nosy person who wants to know what's around the next bend. <laughs>